Hello everyone, Ember here, and welcome back to a new video. Now, on my quest to make the perfect Pikachu Iron Hands deck, I ended up removing Pikachu from the deck <laughs> to make it more consistent. And um, yeah, the end result is a deck without Pikachu. So this is officially a Iron Hands Magneton deck, which is still, you know, newish because we get to run the new Magneton, which is very cool has the ability Overvolt to Discharge, which says once your turn, you may attach up to three basic energy cards from your discard pile to your lightning Pokemon in any way you like. If you use this ability, this Pokemon is KO'd, so it will give up a prize card, which is a bit rough. However, ramping three energy from that is just great, especially after, you know, one of your Iron Hands does go down. So just thought that was worth mentioning. So if you need a quick recap on uh, just what this guy does, Ampu very much is the main attack here for one lightning and three colors, which is just going to be four lightning energy, does 120, which is pitiful. However, if your opponent's Pokemon is knocked out by damage from this attack, you get to take an additional prize card. So lovely. Basically, what we have to do is set up a two -a kill, and there's kind of a variety of ways we can do that. The most common way is to actually set up a Maridon EX first and use Photon Blaster to do 220, because 220 plus 120 is more than enough damage. You can also use stuff like Zero Aura, which is poor man's Raikou. I do have Raikou V, don't worry, but Zero Aura just seemed like a lot of fun to try out, and I've been enjoying playing this guy. The downside is, of course, it's very fragile, so, you know, it's a bit of a shame, but it's quite a nice attacker to lead with, just because you can get powered up quite easily with generators and manual attachments, and then when it gets killed, you can use Magneton to recycle the energy. So yeah, quite like Zero Aura, to be honest, a lot of fun to use. I also play one copy of this Maridon. Now, you do not need to play this. This is just like a meme inclusion, really. I just find it funny when I get to use Peak Acceleration in some games. It's not great. You absolutely do not need to play this card. Just like play a third Magnemite or something. Or like maybe even a third Iron Hands or like a Heavy Baton. But yeah, just a bit of a meme inclusion that I thought was funny. Um, also playing Squawkabilly, even though I never use it. Um, it's just in the deck. Also play one Luminium, um, you know, so just FYI, you could probably remove one of these in trade for like a Mana Fee or something for some, you know, good bench protection. As for the trainers, it's really nothing that crazy, um, just kind of what you'd imagine. I'm playing XP Share over Heavy Baton just because I find that I use Zera Aura and um, Maridon first before I use uh, Thingy Majig. Iron Hands, Ampy very much, that's the one. So yeah, EXP share is just kind of a natural fit for me personally. Also got Energy Retrieval, allowing you to put two basic energy cards from Disco Pile into your hand. Got a Beach Card, actually, just for some easy switcheroos, as well as a Prime Catcher, because I like having loads of Gust Effects. And I play five. I have played three boss, one Prime Catcher, one Counter Catcher. So, you know, so it's easy to get KOs are the ones you want to strive for. So yeah, that's pretty much it for Trainers. And then 12 basic Lightning Energy. But yeah, I've got a game to showcase after this, which is against Charizard. It's a very nail-biting game. Spoiler alert, I don't win it, but I do go down to one prize. So it is a lot of fun, but, you know, it's just a really fun deck that I'd recommend giving a go if you're stuck with, like, Pikachu Magneton ideas. You know, I will try my best to make Pikachu work, but I think at this point I might just, you know, modify a Japan Blissey list, basically. So, you know, it's uh, it's been a bit rough with Pikachu, which I would say today. But yeah, this has been Aaron Power, and yeah, thank you for watching. Okay, so my opening hand isn't actually that bad, so I'm going to go ahead and use Nest Ball, track down um, a Maridon, I believe, if I can find one, yep, nice to see you buddy, and then actually I could get the future one, which is, will I do that, or will I just set up, no, okay, fine, I'm just going to get this Maridon actually, I was thinking about maybe getting the future one, but I think we will do the Magneton play, so I'll use Maridon, we'll get down Iron Hands and Magnemite, and then afterwards we can Earthen Vessel away a Lightning Energy, discard this, get two more, and then what we can do is probably just actually attach to the active to be honest, and kind of like threaten that as an option. Um, I could retreat, which isn't the worst idea in the world either, but um, actually, you know what, we'll just leave it as that, because we might want to just boss KO something with Zero Aura anyway, so 
I'm quite happy about this position. Um, we can kind of threaten Magneton next turn with Arvin for Ultra Ball, so it's not the end of the world. My opponent doesn't have, like, masses here. Oh, okay, they, they do have masses. So there is another Poffin right there, which is a bit of a bra moment, unless they get a rare candy. Please get a rare candy. Please be silly. Please be greedy. Please. Pretty please. Fingers crossed. Still choosing. Nest Ball. Okay. I think that was TM Devolution or something? That didn't look like TM Evolution. Although maybe it was TM Evolution. And I'm like just mistaken. Okay, it probably was. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not? Question mark? I'm so confused. What is going on? Okay, feeding me a Charmander. That is fine. I'm happy to kill this. We could go hunt me barrel. But I think it's worth it to just actually swing into this, to be honest. So yeah, we'll evolve there. I will use an Arvin. Or will I? Yes, I will use an Arvin. I shall use an Arvin. We don't need to boss this turn, I don't think. Um, I shall get a... Yes, I would like a generator, please. I wouldn't mind any XP share. Actually, how many... Uh, Magnetons are in deck. There is two, okay. So what I will do is just give myself a bit of extra bench protection and go and get another Magnemite. And then what I shall do is... Um, could get that as well, actually. Yeah, okay, sure, fine. Sure, we'll see how this plays out. Probably a misplay, but we'll see. And then I will generate her. And hopefully this is two energy. Yeah, it's one energy, that's not so bad. We can EXP share here. And could EXP share that one actually, but it might make more sense to do so actually. No, no, we'll go here. We'll be greedy for a change. I will be greedy. And then I will combat Thunder for 80. So nice little one prizer here. Uh, very fragile, though, sadly, so Charizard will be able to want to kill us. Thankfully, he doesn't have a Dusclops, though. That would have been annoying, but... We get a prize card, which is nice, and it is a basic energy. Oh, it's a research. Okay, fine. Research isn't the worst. I don't really want to research in the next two turns, though, because I kind of want to just Ultra Ball with Arvin, or use Boss, but I'm assuming this is the Red Candy Zard. Okay, so they did actually have the Barrel. That's why they retreated it, so... That was TM Devolution. I'm not going crazy. Okay, that is interesting. I mean, TM Devolution definitely doesn't, like, do anything against us. So, fair enough. Okay, that is Arceus. Wow, you just have max rarity everything, huh? Rare Candy, Zard. Yep, love the artwork. It's a pretty boring card to play against, truth be told. But it is, you know, it's a pretty looking card. So, what we can do then is go ahead and I think just smack them actually with a arm press although arm press into theme jiggy isn't going to do enough damage which is a bit of a pain so it is a bit disappointing in that sense we ideally want to do 220 into amp you very much so maybe that was the player should have been setting up properly but i will go ahead and actually how many energy are we down we're down two uh you know what we'll do this we'll do this if it all goes horribly wrong then Ember Power is officially the worst YouTuber at sequencing, but hey, we'll see how it goes. Another research, not what I wanted at all. We shall Arvin for a Ultra Ball and no tool card. Actually, yeah, we'll take a tool card here. And yeah, we just want to do the Magneton play basically and smack them with uh, Maridon. So Ultra Ball away. A lightning has to be a lightning, and I will get rid of uh, Squawkabilly because he's useless. 
and we don't want to bench him <laughs> ever in this matchup. Ultra Ball, thank you for uh, Magneton. Make sure we get the right Pokemon. That would have been a disaster. So Magnemite, Magneton, no Magenton X, sadly. I wish I could play it, though. I, if I had one, I'd probably run it just for the lols, but alas. Okay, so we pop this guy. They get a prize card, which is a bit rough, but hey, it's all for the cause. Charge this thing up. And we can, like, take advantage of EXP share at the very least if he does um, go ahead and get the KO on this guy. So my opponent goes ahead in the prize race. It also means they can't counter catch us, which is quite nice, but, you know, that shouldn't be too relevant, I don't think. So yeah, we don't have to bench anything else for the rest of the game ever now. We can just go ahead and use Photon Blaster. And yeah, that'll be that. So, I guess worst case scenario, realistically, is they can boss. And they just boss um, one of these bad boys up. And that'll be quite annoying if they do that. Okay, what is this? It's an Arceus, fair enough. Actually, Arceus is quite nice. That's like easy two prizes before it evolves. Quote unquote, before it evolves. You know, we have to deal with it before it evolves, but... In fact, is that not such a bad idea, actually? Because then we're just, um... That's not a bad idea. Oh, never mind, anyway. I was going to say, maybe we could boss KO Arceus, and then we just have to KO this with Ampy very much, and we win, but... That's also a bit dicey. We can, however, counter catcher though. Okay, that's interesting. You know what? I think I might be spicy and just go for it. I think I might just go for it, to be honest. Like, I could get punished so hard, though, if they have Turo scenario. That's my, like, only biggest concern, is, like, they could punish us so badly for this. But, at the same time... Actually, I can't do it. What am I... What am I saying? I can't... I literally can't do it. Um, right, switch card. I'm honestly stupid. I'm, like, actually the worst. I'm, like, the worst at sequencing. Okay, so... New plan. I'm going to attach one here. We're not going to KO Zard. We're going to KO... Charmander. Yeah, we're going to KO Charmander. Because it's his next best attacker, so... Okay, so, yep, I forgot that Maridon wasn't KO'd, therefore I wouldn't get the energy off the XP share, therefore I wouldn't be able to use Ampu very much. So, yeah, that's where that misplay went horribly wrong. So, yeah, everyone watching is probably tearing their eyes out at that. But, um, yeah, we get one prize here, which is nice. So now we are down to four prizes, at the very least. We do get an energy, which is good. We do need that. So this thing will swing into us for a painful amount of damage. But hey-ho, we can remove it. And then this bad boy comes at us. Uh, Cancelling clone's not going to do anything. I wonder if there was a better way of doing this, actually. Maybe just, like, paying the retreat cost for Magnemite and hitting them again with Maridon. It's tricky. Is this another rare candy Pidgeot situation? That's brutal. So we will be able to evolve Arceus. That's a pain. Yeah, I definitely could have played this better. Because now I'm thinking that Zard KOs Iron Hands here. Which is a pain. Yeah, I definitely messed up big time there. That was a huge misplay. Okay, so Charmander comes down. We won't get a uh, Ampy very much, which is really what we want. Ooh, 10 damage in. That's painful. Oh, we get an energy. Um, nice, I guess. <laughs> That's not nice. Now, we can claw our way back into this game if we get a, um, a big KO here. But it will have to actually be like a big KO 
if you know what I mean. Like, it has to be good. That's a boss. That is a boss. Okay, energy. Yes, important. Do I have any other boss? I do. Interesting. Although I don't have, like, literally nothing else in play, though. So I'm probably, like, cooked either way. Although they're down to two prizes. I can't do this. I have to go hunting for generators. Oh, this is annoying. That's a bit of a shame. Okay, so, like, I would have liked to have... Um, shall I do this? Spec board, like, uh, n next question, can I do this? I can. Okay, let's do this then. Sure, why not? Let's just give them all the prize cards. I mean, we're already, like, on thin waters here. I mean, I'm pretty sure they can just win next turn anyway, but I want my prize cards, so, hey. It's a shame they went all the way down to two prize cards without me realizing, though, but, hey. So we'll pop another Magneton, <laughs> give my opponent one less prize. Uh, we will charge up our big boy down here. And if they have boss, they have boss. You know, it's uh, it's one of those things. And we can retreat this. And we kind of just need a bit of a Hail Mary here. Where maybe I shouldn't have actually discarded boss and I should have discarded rod, but it doesn't matter. So this is an absolute Hail Mary, you know, don't have rare candy Zard. I mean, they probably do, right? It's Charizard, but hey. And then, amp you very much. Thank you. So hey, we went down to one prize at the very least. I'm happy about that. It's just like, I made that gigantic misplay. Which was like, quite brutal. I just lost track of the fact that I wasn't getting the bonus energy from EXP share. Oh, Generator. Nice of you to show up. It's a bit late in the game, though. Ah, they have the rare candy Charizard. Oh, well. Ah, that's a bit of a shame. Anyhow, I thought that was pretty fun, actually. We, like, we nearly got there, right? It was close. Like, we just needed to have not completely fluffed up that one turn. There was just one turn in particular, which was really bad. I think giving them a prize through Magneton, giving them a prize through Zero Aura was definitely a bit dicey. Because then it just meant they had to one-shot this and then boss something else. So yeah. So here's the Rare Candy Zard. I will go ahead and concede. And um, yeah. Thank you for watching. Although, do you have enough energy in deck before I hit concede? Um, You know what? I'll just let them do the win. I'll, I'll just sit here. It's fine. Aye, aye, aye. Messed up. Messed up big time. I did indeed mess up big time. I should have fed them uh, the Maridon earlier, actually. That was stupid not to do that. Fair enough. Yep, 3.30. Ah, so close. So close. Anyhow, thank you for watching.